What's going on, guys? I have a huge comp -a call for you. The last video is a full short box. This time we have a mystery long box. No idea what's in this one. So this is a bunch of books they put together. This was all 50 bucks. They threw in the box, which is very generous. And then this is another 50 bucks of a bunch of books that I got to choose out of. So this is $100 right here. We're going to see if we made our money back. So let's get into this. Firstly, let's start off with the books that I picked out today. We're going to save the best for last. And let's get into this. This is a ton of G.I. Joe books. I'm really getting into the comic book line of G.I. Joe. Um, and I got one really good one for you. But let's start with the ones that aren't G.I. Joe. This one, it is not worth a whole lot. But it is ASM 374. Um, yeah, it's not a very valuable one. It's just a one that's really cool. And it was five bucks. It wasn't too bad. Uh, this next one, Submariner 63, 20 center. An old Submariner. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Then we got Masters of Kung Fu 36. Just an old Shang Chi book, and then Master of Kung Fu Twenty Two. So some really old, um, just Marvel books, just added to the collection. Really, really good. Now, let's get into the GI Joe books. I do got to do my research on these. I know about one. I don't know about the rest of these. But let's get into this. So, firstly, GI Joe number forty two. That's a good one, guys. That one needs a bag and board, but. That's a really good one. I got a bunch of the really cool covers they had. Now, these ones are interesting. I have no idea what the heck these are. But G.I. Joe Yearbook number two. And then G.I. Joe Yearbook number one. So, two G.I. Joe Yearbooks. I have no idea what those are, but those are really cool. Uh, G.I. Joe Order of Battle number four. No idea. Just a really cool cover. G.I. Joe Order of Battle number three. And now this is the original line. G.I. Joe Real American Hero 69. G.I. Joe Real American Hero 66. G.I. Joe Real American Hero what's that, 58. G.I. Joe Real American Hero 55. G.I. Joe Real American Hero 33. G.I. Joe uh, 31, that's a really cool one. Uh, G.I. Joe Real American Hero 27. Again, this is just getting some more G.I. Joes, basically. Uh, G.I. Joe Real American Hero 23. And then G.I. Joe Real American Hero 52. And now, to end off this haul, G.I. Joe Real American Hero 21, the first appearance of Storm Shadow. And I actually got an even better deal than that. Really, really good book. That is, pr honestly, that book is in probably the, probably a 9294 grade. So that's a multi-hundred dollar book. Even raw, this book, I can flip this for 120, 150 bucks. So that was really good. But that was the start of this haul, guys. We're about to get into what is in this box. I don't even know what's in this box. They are always hook me up with good deals you guys got to check out gem comics if you ever are in the area this is an amazing place and they give me great deals now let's see what is in this long box um oh boy okay so this should be good um all right so it looks like first book no idea if this is anything x-force 15 Interesting. No idea. Uh, Dark Hawk versus Iron Man number one. Huh. Interesting. Dark Hawk, the Island Paradise of Venom 14. These, I don't think these are anything because I know Dark Hawk isn't too valuable. I, I could be wrong. Omega, the Unknown number three. That's probably good. I have no idea if that's anything good, but. I mean, hey, that is pretty good. I have no idea what this is. Amazing Spider-Man A? <laughs> no idea what that is. I don't know what they did. Oh, this is a good one. Marvel Super Action number three. Starring Captain America. A lot of them star Captain America. He's a pretty popular one. 
the Jack of Hearts number one. They got a lot of these ones. Um, it's a new stand though too, so that's really good. Mmm. West Coast Avengers number two. That is a good one. I would love number one or the first appearance of White Vision. That would have been really cool. A Warlock and Infinity Watch number one. I have no idea what that book is. Sleepwalker number six. That's got Spider-Man in it. That's pretty cool. We got Sleepwalker number five. Another Spider-Man. He knows I love Spider-Man in ASM. So that is really, really cool. Sleepwalker 17. That is so, so cool. Power Man and Iron Fist 117. That's another good one. Okay. Looks like some of these need bags and boards, some don't. Power Man and Iron Fist 86. That is awesome. Uh, Night Thrasher for control number three. Awesome. All right. So, uh, what else have we got in here? Marvel Triple, oh, that's a cool one. Marvel Triple Action number two. It looks like it's in really rough shape, but that is actually really cool. That's got Dr. Doom on the cover. I love anything Dr. Doom. Oh, the Astonishing Ant-Man number six. I've got nothing to do with Ant-Man in my collection. That's a good one. Uh, what's this one? Marvel Double Feature number 20. That one's got a little bit of a tear. Other than that, it's in great shape. Um, what else? Darkhawk 3. I have no clue who Darkhawk is. Darkhawk 2. They got Spider-Man on them, so I think they saw that there was Spider-Man. were like, you know what, he like them. So I believe they just threw that one in because it's Spider-Man. Human Torch number 8. I'm hoping this starts to pick up. So far, it's a bunch of nothing books. But they are really cool, so that is always a plus. Thonger 23, that's a really good one, actually. Silver Surfer 65. Oh man, if there's, if I can get some good Silver Surfers, that would be great. That would be great. Silver Surfer 63. I've been getting a lot of Silver Surfers lately because he's a very affordable character. Silver Surfer 52. So this is actually really good. They're not banging board. Oh, that is awesome. Silver Surfer 49. That is a good book. That one actually, that one's really cool. Silver Surfer 34. That's a good one. Okay, it's got Thanos. All right, we're back to some bagging. Right, we got a bagging board one. Oh, they threw in a G.I. Joe. Tales of G.I. Joe 12. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, Silver Surfer 47. So we're back to some more Silver Surfer stuff. So that's really good. Keep adding to the Silver Surfer collection. Aha, we got Star Wars. I know how much I love Star Wars. It's not an old one, but Star Wars 55. That's a good one. Oh, we got Rise of the Midnight Suns, but it's not number one. It's number 28 in its poly bag. That's a good book. The Punisher number two. Hmm. That's a good one. All right, let's just grab this whole stack. Okay, so we're finishing off this stack. The Punisher War Journal number two. I have Punisher War Journal number one, so that's a good book. X-Force 21. I've had this book before. I think I've sold this one to them a couple times, but... Oh, Vader down number one. Okay, so that's a really good variant. So that is a good book right there. All right, I will take those. So far, guys, I think we've made our money back from the books I bought today. But ugh, I got to say, I've made some decent money on this. All right, I've been looking for this one. This is a, the Superman one in its poly bag. That's a good book. I don't know what that, I know that one's actually pretty decently valuable. Gin Ryu, number one. That's a really cool one. That's got like, that's a Mortal Kombat type book. Thor, number 234. The Return of Wolverine, number one. Silver Surfer, 19. 
Iron Man 249 with Dr. Doom on the cover. They know how much I like Dr. Doom. Iron Man 202. That's an interesting one. That's a newer Iron Man. Star Wars 21. Now that's a dope cover. I think I think I told them I wanted this one. I just never picked it up because like there's no point. But they threw that one in. That's a good book. That's really cool. The Punisher, the Evolutionary War number one. There's some books in here that I need to look up because I actually want to know if they're valuable. The Punisher number three. And the Punisher number four. Okay. So some good Punisher. I will take those. Um, all right, so we're just about done with, almost done with the box. One more good stack, and then, so this box is now empty. Let's see, we're gonna end this. Darth Maul number one, that's not Darth Maul's first appearance. I would have loved to get Darth Maul's first appearance, but that is not it. Darth Vader number one, I believe that is the variant, that is the other variant of the white one, so that's awesome. Terror number six with Punisher, that's a cool one. Star Wars Shattered Empire, number four. No old Star Wars, it looks like. This is all just newer Star Wars. Bounty Hunters, number one. Oh, God, that is awesome. Bounty Hunters, number two. Bounty Hunters, number five. Now, that one's probably my favorite. That's so sick. Okay, so, okay, we got some of these ones. I usually don't buy these, but... A Looks like we have Star Wars number 12, but it's like the action figure variant. That's really cool. Star Wars 6 with the R2-D2 variant. The other one was Greedo. Star Wars 7, the Stormtrooper variant. Star Wars 1 with the Luke Skywalker variant. That's really cool. Any more? No. Tales of G.I. Joe number 2. The Superior Octopus number 1. What the frick is this? Strife's number one? That's a cool cover, but no idea what it is. All right, the last few books of the haul. Wolverine Origins number one. That is actually really cool. Wolverine Origin, Origin, uh, Origins number one. I think that's a different variant. Uh, Wolverine number one, Manifest Destiny. So some Wolverine ones. Wolverine... Doombringer. I don't know what the heck that is, but cool book. And the last one, Terminator X number two. Okay. Overall, hundred bucks in total. Um, not bad. I gotta say, there is definitely money to be made in this. Um, definitely not as good as the last haul, but this has definitely got some really good potential, and I'm really happy about all these. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please press like button down below. And subscribe to the next video. See you guys.